I'm Naomi Wamboy, W-A-M-B-O-E, and this is my story. <laughs> so let's get right into it. I am a mom. I'm a mom first, above all else. Above all else, before everything, I am a mom um, to a 10-month-old girl named Kenya. Um, and it's been such an enjoyable ride. But other than that, I am a singer-songwriter. I am a TV host. I am also some... I'm an entrepreneur. I'm into a lot of business things. Let's just say I'm making money. Okay? I'm making money. How I should be. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, from back in the day, growing up, I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington. Well, Lakewood, Washington, to be exact. Um, I attended elementary school there. I attended middle school, high school. College was also attended in the States, but college I did in Miami. <clears throat> in Miami, um, Barry University in Miami. And I did business management with a minor in music. Um, you know, after college, I just... I had a dream of just doing music. Um, I also started music at such a young age. Um, I was always singing in the choir and stuff um, growing up, but I did music professionally. I started when I was 15 and I started here um, in Nairobi, Kenya, actually with Caliph Records, if you guys can remember that. My first hit was Tuna Katika, Tuna Katika, Nastalia Kenya. <laughs> Yeah, that was the jam back then. Hey, but honestly, I put Kenyans on the map when it came to making music videos. I had the first hydraulics car in my music video and all that. All of that. So run that. Tell them that. <laughs> so yeah, started music here. But at the same time, when I started music, I was 15. So I was still in school, um, high school to be exact. So I was always like going back and forth between Kenya. So it's like my song, I'd release a song. It would get a hit and get on the radio and get plays. But I wasn't here to like perform it and all of that stuff. So I always had like a rocky finish. But after college, I was able to come back, do music, um, and I was on a roll. I was definitely on a roll. I've had, I had fun with it. I've had so many great experiences. I met so many people. I mean, but this music, this music industry, it definitely has its ups and its downs, its pros and its cons. Um, so yeah, but then I just, I had to take a break. I had to take a break from music um, because it was affecting me like the lifestyle in that music industry that I was living it had now started to affect my life and um and also at that time like I was also going through depression battling with depression battling with um just the unknown I didn't know what to do with my life what I wanted to do with my life where I wanted to go but so those were like really, really hard times. And a lot of people didn't know like I was going through depression because I was just so bubbly and just out there. But um, it was a difficult time. It was a very, very difficult time. And it was like, and you know, um, with when it comes to depression, like you try and find your outlet and your getaway through. And so at first that was music for me, but then, you know, in the industry we're always drinking, then it became drinking, then it became, you know, smoking and doing all this, doing all that. Um, yeah, and I kind of just spiraled downhill into like a pit that I just couldn't get myself out of personally. But you know, like by the grace of God, like um, not even gonna lie, I did, I did attend a rehabilitation center. Um, I was forced to, like my mom literally dragged me there. I like, I don't know, I had one drunk night. I woke up there. It was crazy, it was wild. Um, but I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Like at the time, I didn't like her for it. I hated her for it. But after, at least it was the leg to get me sober again, I guess you could say. Um, and so let's see, after that, I went more into now the TV industry. I was working on Ebrew TV, Let's Talk, um, as a TV host. Um, I was doing that. I was still kind of recording music, you know, like when I can, but, um, at the same time, like also my, my circle of friends changed, um, you know, like my lifestyle changed, like I wasn't surrounded by those people and like in you know the industry 
so to say, um, and all the drinking and drugs and alcohol, like I wasn't surrounded by that anymore. So I was able to like, you know, but the friends, I think friends was the number one reason. My best fit by my girl, Lydia KM, shout out to her. But she has, she is one of the most impactful people on my life, even though she doesn't know it. But at the time, like we had met, like it was just, just perfect timing. And our, um, yeah, it was just perfect timing. So yeah, so after like the TV hosting, and then I got pregnant, got pregnant um, while I was still doing TV. And then when I was pregnant, it was like three or four, no, like five months in, then Corona hit and then everything got shut down. So, you know, there was no more music. There was no more nothing. I wasn't about to go be doing music anyways. But um, so I was just at home. I was at home and I had a lot of time to like reflect like on life and just on everything. And I, I decided for myself, like I just wanted to change in my life. Like I wasn't happy with who I was or what I was doing and just fear of just everything, the unknown and all of that. So I decided to change. Like I started reading more of like self-help stuff, uh, more on positivity after affirmations, practicing that. So when I was pregnant, I had started slowly, but I didn't dive into it until now after I had given birth. So now it's been 10 months since I gave birth to my little baby girl. She's so cute. Hey, Kenya. Um, it's been 10 months and I will say now I am more sound in who I am, more confident in who I am. If you can't see it on my face or hear it in my voice, then we got a problem. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, I will say um, I'm more into the... Um, you know, I'm all about self-love. I'm all about positive, positive energy. I'm all about surrounding yourself with the right kind of people. I'm all about daily affirmations and exercising and feeding your body the good things that, you know, that are here on this earth that God has given us, you know, to eat and all of that. Um, and the journey has been nice. I'm still in the process of it, but I'm loving it so far is what I can say. Um, I will definitely say it's been difficult. It's been hard, but I will say that my, my baby girl, she is the one who has really like grounded me, honestly. Like having Kenya at that time was just, it was the perfect timing like in my life because I was at a point where I just I felt like I needed something not needed but I felt like I was done with that chapter of my life the whole the partying the hanging out with people that are just draining your energy and taking everything from you but not giving anything in return I was just I was done with that life and having the baby just at the right time just really opened my eyes and it was just easier to transition I guess you can say so um yeah her she has she has taught me patience boy has she taught me patience because <laughs> she's like 10 months but I feel like she's going on like 10 years old or something because it's crazy but patience number one but also just being positive you know like even when I do have a bad day like I can just look at her look at her smile whatever and yeah as cliche as that sounds but it is the truth at least applied to my life and um like I also do all this self-help stuff and I'm I'm exercising daily eating like my fruits and vegetables daily and and doing positive affirmations because I want to set that example for my own daughter like I want her to see I want to be the example for her so that she so she knows that that is the norm. It is normal to have self-care days. Take a whole day off and pamper yourself. You go with the nanny and mommy gets to, you know, put a mask on her face. But I just want her to know that, you know, we have so many, um, what is it called? Uh, I can't even think of the, I can't even think of it the, the phrase, but there's, there's so much like, what is, what am I trying to say? <laughs> like pressure in society, I guess. No, I, I don't know. I've just literally lost my train of thought. But anyways, long story short. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much my story right now. And that's where I'm at. And I'm loving it. Like, I love my life. And for me to even be able to say that is just I've come a long way, I'll say. And, you know, when we get deeper into details, maybe one day we will. But yeah.
I love life. And you know, the message I want to send to everybody out there is just love yourself regardless of what other people think. Stop even worrying about what people think. At the end of the day, it's you and your God. Like that's the only person who's going to judge you. So, and, and the person you were yesterday is not the one you are today. So even all those people who expect you to be that other person, the old you, like she, she's dead and gone. Leave her there leave her there because all you're gonna do is just better your own life and your own self and watch everybody else get mad while you're doing it because you don't want to hang out and all of that so yeah just do you love yourself first always choose you first <laughs>